Right, so I'm just going to do a quick video on this uh, DIY turntable I've made for myself. So, just bear with me. I have to wait a little bit for me to uh, to go through the process. So it'll either be um, a disaster or it'll work. Uh, let's see. Back in a minute. class that as a success. It went a little bit odd at the end, I think the front wheel came off as I was just wheeling the bike off but it works. So yeah I've got to say that's a, that's a success by my standards. It's basically a Lazy Susan bearing which I purchased off eBay for £13. It's two pieces of three quarter inch block board with the bearing in between them, a piece of scaffolding plank and one or two of the bits of timber that I've, uh, bits of timber that I've knocked together and I've made a functional turntable for about £25. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, obviously the more I use it the more I'll get I'll get used to it. Uh, the problem I'd, I had was I had limited space, I've got limited space here. Uh, so turning this silver wing round uh, manually is a non-starter. 
uh, and it's, it's quite heavy by the silver wing so this this seems to solve that problem and uh, I got the um, I got the idea off uh, off YouTube so I thought I'd just show you my uh, my attempt at, at replicating what I saw on YouTube and yeah I'm happy with that it works so all's good I hope this uh, video is of use for someone else who has a similar problem uh, restricted space and uh, the only other option for me before I made that turntable was to park the bike in front ways into the garage and then wheel it backwards all the way out here for about is the best part of a 110 feet I would think wheel it all the way back and then try and turn it around it took forever so I'm hoping that that, uh, that creation that I've made of the turntable will solve that problem for me so I hope that's of some use to someone Thanks for watching. Bye.